Now what I'd like to show you is how temporary tables work. What I've done is I've connected back into my real concerts user and I'm going to look at a temporary table. Now in the past we've actually already used this example so I have a table called shows which is actually a temporary table. So I'm going to start out by dropping it since I can't create the table if it already exists. What I have here is a script that creates a temporary table called shows. It has two fields, act and venue, which is the name of an act and the name of a venue. The idea is to create a temporary table with data from both the act table and the venue table to the shows entity. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to execute a select statement to show you which data I'm going to put into this table, although I'm not putting it in there yet. So here's my select statement, and that's the data I'm pulling out, which is act and venue, which means this act plays at this venue. A multitude of times, but you get the point. Now what I'm going to do is what's called an insert command, which is an Oracle DML or data manipulation language command to insert data into that temporary table in this SQL session. So I'm pasting this in and I now have select star from shows. Again, I have the same records down here. Now, if you remember the syntax of a temporary table that we discussed earlier, this session has these rows. What I've done is I've gone and connected another session as the concerts user. Now, since the data was assigned to that other session in SQL Plus, if I execute select star from shows here, I should see nothing, which I don't. Because why? Because the data in this session created in this temporary table is session specific to this session. In other words, this iSQL Plus session cannot see that data. So let's prove that the other way around. Let's do a delete from shows in the SQL Plus session and we'll commit it. And we'll verify there's no rows in there. Now we'll go to the iSQL Plus session Let's use the script. We can simply copy and paste it. So we'll copy that out, we'll paste it in there, and we'll execute. Now we'll select star from shows in the iSQL Plus session. And it will return 147 rows in the iSQL Plus session. Now go back to SQL Plus and select star from shows. Now you see what I mean by session-specific temporary table data. What I'd like to do is to revisit the create table syntax. Here is my simplistic version of the create table syntax, and believe me, it is simplistic. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take you back to the technetoracle.com site. Scroll down once again, and you'll find the documentation link. Note, this site has changed. Now you do not need to scroll across to the right, you simply click the documentation link. Once this comes up, you will see a link, Oracle 9i database at the top. And then what you need to do is you need to click this link called library. The results of clicking the library link, and bear in mind this site may change again, is the database online documentation page. Click the list of books and we come up with the list of books. Now we're going to scroll down once again to find the SQL reference guide. Click on contents. Now we're in the SQL reference manual again. Let's scroll down, or an easier way would be to search for create table. Here's the create table command. Click on create table. Here is the create table command page. If you scroll down, you will find an enormous amount of information on syntax and general explanations of all the options and parts of the create table syntax.